Joseph Cromie is one of the legends of Tasmanian wine and a shining example of the migrant success story. Czechoslovakian-born Joseph made his money in small goods, sold the company and moved into wine. He established some of the biggest Tasmanian players like Jantz and Tamar Ridge. A couple of years ago, he knocked on the door of a young winemaker working at the Hoods Wine Facility in Hobart and offered him a dream to oversee the planning and building of a state-of-the-art winery. With a budget of $40 million, the sky's the limit for Jeremy Deneen. So, Jeremy, show me some of your new toys. Uh, well, the first thing, I mean, this is where we receive our grapes. Okay. And, and there's something missing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in most other wineries you've been to, there's probably a big screw auger. Massive screw in there, moving, shifting the fruit down. Yeah. The screw auger can cut up the grapes yes. and, and do some damage to them before you start processing. So just that base plate vibrates the grapes really gently uh, straight out into the destemmer, protecting the grapes as much as possible. What else have we got? This is the destemmer. And the juice runs off? Runs through the destemmer and the grapes then come into this pump, yep. which is a peristaltic pump, which is the same technology they use to pump blood if they're doing a heart bypass operation. So it's really gentle. So you're, you're treating your, your wine pretty seriously then. Exactly. <laughs> Part of Joe's vision is an equestrian centre and luxury accommodation. In the meantime, the focus has to be on the wine. I'm the first to sample some in Jeremy's new laboratory tasting room. So we've got 2006 Riesling, and what partners perfectly in the cool climates with Riesling, like in Germany and Alsace, is Gewürztraminer. What's the similarity between that and Riesling? They grow in very similar fashions, in similar climates, and they have similar flavour compounds, but give you very different flavours. Gewürz is German for spicy. It really complements those spicy dishes, so Asian dishes, Middle Eastern dishes, yeah. uh, and it's a fantastic food wine. I can really see it going well, you know, nice hot curry, you know, it's not going to get lost in my food, it's perfect. No, it's got enough structure and enough intensity to cope with those spicy foods. And, and, and.